Hey guys, what's up? It's the Apple Scripter. Sorry, I haven't posted in a while. My Wi-Fi was stuffing up. Um, today I'm going to show you Gift Paper. It's an app that I made a while ago. Um, I just thought it was really cool and that I would show you it. So if we go into the script here, um, that's the script there. For now, ignore all that. Um, but what that bit does is it gets you to select a GIF. Um, once you've chosen the GIF, it then drags all of the frames into a folder, which is this folder. Uh, that was my previous GIF. That's one frame. Um, then once it's done that, it sets it gets the variable name. Uh, which is part of this, uh, and that sets it to GIF file name. It can set it knows that it's going to be O two, uh, so it's going to be the GIF file name space O two O one O four O three, etc. So it goes all the way down through all the numbers. Uh, basically, I've got one hundred and fifty numbers here. I figured you're probably not going to have a GIF with more than one hundred and fifty frames. Uh, you can always add more. It just it's quite a lengthy process. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how it works. Can't run it from there, you need to run it from the actual app. So here we go, this is my GIFs folder. You can choose any folder. Um, this is just where I keep all my GIFs. So let's try Engine, that's a good one. Choose. And it sets that GIF as my wallpaper. So if I open the engine, I don't know if I'll skip that. If I open the my gifts folder, so this is the folder that it was from. Um, there's the engine gif. So basically, what it's done is it's automatically dragged all of these frames onto my desktop. Um, so all of those frames, well, no, it's dragged them into the folder essentially, um, and then it's basically played the whole folder. I'll put a link in the description for that f so you guys can see it. Um, just reopen it. This part was, uh, this part here, was mostly done by, or it was almost entirely done, by a guy on Stack Overflow. Uh, so all credit goes to him. He helped me with that. I'll put a link in the description to his account. Check him out. Um, if you haven't used Stack Overflow, you definitely should. It's a great forum for asking questions about any language. Um, mine was obviously Apple Script. Uh, there's a heap of really helpful guys on there. Uh, you can get your questions answered. Uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more videos.